How's it flying, guys? Lance Corporal Lock 30, and before we get into this episode, I want to apologize. It has taken me ha pretty much six months since I've last reacted to Silver Wings. I, there's not a good reason for it. I can make all the excuses I want about not having limited time, but I have a consistent work schedule, so I should be able to figure something out. And also, the internet issue. I've been able to work around it thus far. So I don't really have a good excuse for staying away from Silver Wings for so long other than most likely procrastination. And the other reason being with with the limited internet, wanting to prioritize certain things over others. But yeah, there's no reason why it should have taken this long to get back to Silver Wings. Not only Silver Wings, but a couple of other series that are still not even halfway done. So... I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this weekly, like as, as best as I can, weekly reactions to Silver Wings, one episode at a time, or maybe for the finale I'll do, do it in a pair. I don't know. I don't know what my plan is going to be, but for now I'm going to react to an episode of Silver Wings, episode 8, Deception. So this is right after... And it's, I know that they just kicked, what the heck was his name? The South American Bats. They kicked the South American Bats butts. But, obviously, they lived. So, anyways, though, at least one of them lived for sure. Anyways, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into this. I'm not going to waste any time. Yeah, link, to, link will be in the description. Let's go ahead and get going. At the dawning... I've got to adjust the volume, hold on. Birds and the beasts banished us. We were forbidden from ever glimpsing the sun again. You can't be outside when the sun comes up. The owls will kill you. Do you have any idea what you've done? You broke the law, oh shade. Okay. According to the Articles of War, you beasts must elect a leader. I nominate Ursa. That's right, the bear. bear. Huh? <laughs> Say what? Ursa, you've got to stop the wolves. You're a silver wing. You have to tell Brutus the silver wings are innocent. Hey, I didn't ask to be elected. It's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> It's good that we've got this refresher, because it's been a while. We'll go to Brutus. We'll tell him Shade's story and get him to stop this war. They're gone. The males, they're all gone. Not only is this bad news, it's already good. <laughs> And here we go. Hmm. Oh, Zephyr was right. These berries really are soothing. Hmm. Oh, uh, whatever. Shade! Huh? That leaf can knock you out cold. No, I, I don't think it... <gasps> Shade! You moron. Shade, please, wake up! Ta-da! <gasps> Shade, you can't treat Zephyr's teachings like they're some cheap trick. Hey, I'm sorry. I couldn't care less about all that plant stuff. <laughs> We're on our way to hibernaculum, not herbanaculum. You have to get us there first. Remember, the owls are still after us. Yeah. And my whole colony. Yeah. Let's spend the day in here. Is it occupied by anybody, perhaps? Okay, guess maybe not. There's that fat one. Any 
sign of the nails, not a trace. The owls were here. Ooh. On top of everything we've endured, now the males are missing. How many more bad decisions will freedom make? Shut up. You really, really have nothing to prove that that was her fault. Not a single thing to prove. I could tell you that. Greetings, General Brutus. What have you to report, Bear? The Silver Wings are innocent of the charges. You've made contact with the Silver Wing. How is he? Fine. He assures me that giant meat-eating bats are... Are responsible for this war? Yes. A a and the wolves are eating more than their share. I see. Yeah. I can assure you that this war has nothing to do with giant meat-eating bats and everything to do with that murderer Shade and his colony. Shade is saving lives, not taking them. Enough! I've been told to expect these lies from you. From whom? The wolves. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Is Shade reviewing the map in his head? I'm gonna assume that's the case. Yep. Well, how far is this stone hole? The close, I think. We just have to look for a pine tree that looks like an arrow. Are you kidding? There must be a billion pine trees around here. Well, I'll know it when I see it. And what if the owls see us first? Good question. Shade, I'm not going to feel safe until I'm comparing bands with Frida. Come on. Let's make that happen. Okay, good. Therefore, in accordance with the statutes of the Great Treaty, I banish you to the Eastern Valley for high treason. A true leader would do everything to avoid war. Not create it. Nothing good can come of this, Brutus. At least the kid's aware of the things going on. <laughs> There's the pine tree. Okay. Almost at Stonehold. Oh, I, I think we take a left here, and then it's just around that mountain. <laughs> Are you ready to meet my colony, Marina? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Marina! I am not sure about her, but I am quite ready to meet your colony, Mia. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly a surprise that they live. God, I am freezing. I want to go back to the jungle. I miss their hot sun, their hunting, and all my servant bats waiting on me claw and wing. I say we eat them now. Whiny Patience, brat. Two small bats do not the buffet make. However, spending the winter dining on silver wings will hold us until we return to our warm jungle. Where is your colony? Tell me. You are pointing in the opposite direction to where you flew. Well, uh, we, we were about to change directions when you caught us. You are lying. No, I swear. <laughs> huh? Such 
<laughs> Such a feeble attempt at deception. <laughs> ah, you know, for such a tiny bat, you have caused me muchos problemas. Yeah. But no more. Never again will I underestimate you, Shade Silverwing. Since you have pointed to your colony in the opposite direction, you must know that I would think that you are lying. You must hope that I would not believe you and fly in the opposite direction. Yes? Huh? <laughs> I will call you Bluff. We shall fly oh. in the opposite of the opposite direction. <coughs> See? Huh? Huh? But what if you're wrong, God? Then you will eat the bright wing bomb. That should change his mind. Mm. <sighs> uh, he's got to work with that. My duty to ensure that the leadership acts in the best interest of all Silver Wings. Stop being a moron. Good leader. We trust her. I'm sure you do, Ariel. She saved the life of your lawbreaker son. Maybe it's time for a leadership vote. What, your fat ass? Hmm. So now what are you going to do? The Eastern Valley, get me away from those wolves. Will that be or just something about this war stink? Yeah. If I keep bluffing God, that rat. More time. Are you crazy? It was pure luck he thought you were bluffing him in the first place. Exactly. And now that I've got him completely figured out. Okay. Did they over here or what's going on? We have wasted too much time flying around. Blob, eat the bright wing. <laughs> no! Sid! Where is your colony? <laughs> Not fine. Go ahead. Eat her. What? Yeah. Huh? See if I care. <laughs> <laughs> you are up to something, Chacho. Uh. No. Go ahead. I mean, what difference does it make? You're going to eat us anyway. Oh, so you would prefer to be eaten now so nah. that you may spare your colony. Unless, of course, you are thinking that there is something in it for you. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking. He's actually using his noggin. I have calling you to save his own hide. I think the spirit of Zots is alive in this Pantra. What exactly do you want? I, I want... Yes? I want you to take us both to the jungle to live like royalty with Throb as our servant. Yeah! <laughs> that actually is funny. That actually is really funny. What are you doing? Let me handle this. Yeah, this time he exact This time he's actually using his noggin. I will have to think about it. No. If you want me to deliver my colony, I need an answer. Now. <laughs> you have a deal. <laughs> I'll end up serving you both for dinner. Me wonders if. The fat one, I can't, I can't remember his name right off the bat. If Throb, Throm, if Throm is going to turn on Gull, and if they're going to uh, have a dispute.
colony has spoken. I humbly accept this. You're not humble. Follow me to Hibernaculum. Shade, I really hope you've got a good idea. We have an idea. You are still taking too long. Goth, I've never migrated before. Maybe I should check my sound map again. <sighs> Very well. I am off to hut. But I swear on the soul of Zots that if you try to trick me. Uh, uh, hey, come on, let's uh, hunt together. Uh, I'm pretty good, you know. Really? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> then perhaps you can prove it by killing something for us all to eat. Yes? Mm. Oh, unless of course. Oh, I, I saw that in the background. In which case, our deal is off. Uh, and then we uh, take Marina for lunch. <laughs> Hmm. What are you going to find? Stop, ah, Snick. Yeah. Hi there. What did you find? Frida, I can't believe what just happened. That can. <laughs> that Sheba's been jealous of Frida her entire life. I yeah. won't obey her. I can't. Me neither. Now listen to me, both of you. If Sheba was within her rights as an elder to call for that vote, the colony spoke, and we must abide by that. <gasps> but Frida, we can't respect. <sighs> Rebellion. What did you find? Uh, I think the prey must be scarce in this part of the forest. <laughs> I thought you might say that. That is why I took it upon myself to bring you this. Kill the rabbit now. <laughs> I thought as much. <laughs> what did you find, Shade? You have no intention of leading us to your colony. You have lied to buy yourself some more time. You lied too. Now your time has run out. <laughs> gladly kill this rabbit goth it's just that here in the northern forest we have a custom of beginning every meal with a, a salad salad oh well, how do you think we stay warm in all this cold mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's using his noggin he's actually thinking You warm. Hmm. <laughs> there, I, I, I have honored your custom. Now kill the rabbit. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs>
Aha. Aha. Ah. Die. He has tricked us. <laughs> he actually did. Now fly. Quickly fly. But you don't stand there like a deer in headlights fly. You twit. Fly like your life depends on it, which it kind of does. Who knows how long they're going to be asleep. Quick thinking on the leaf shade. Thanks. Now, let's get out of here. Go! Quickly! Quickly go! Are they gonna run into a friendly face? I don't like that. Uh, it doesn't like that at all. A uh, carcass. Of wolves. Hmm. Well, she is acting like a leader. Hmm. Was that a deer carcass? Well, mm -hmm. positive. Hmm. <sighs> then we're not out of trouble yet. Hmm. The mountains. Not uh Probably not a positive. In memory of S Stephane du so Stéphane Dussault, 1975 to 2003. He will be remembered as a talented artist and friend to all. Hmm. So somebody who was probably friends with somebody on this team or maybe even worked on it. I'm not certain. But that's the end of episode 8, Deception. And good on Shade for thinking like that. For having that thought. Like... I was wondering what he had found that made him have his eureka moment. I was like, what? Like, oh, uh, uh, you're looking down. What are you seeing? And obviously, duh, the, the plant. The plant. He's actually thinking. So. Episode 8, Deception. Continues the story. Shows, I can't remember the white bear's name, but it shows... Her actually imbibing in the role she was given as a leader and acting more like a leader instead of just lazy and selfish. So, good. It cost her getting exiled or banished, whatever you want to refer to it as. Because obviously the wolves were going to lie about the experience. Obviously. Like, and obviously, Brutus is going to go with the opinion that he agrees with. A-hole. But anyways, we are going to go ahead and wrap this up. This was, I think, a good showing of Shade. Like I said, a good showing of Shade learning to think more rationally and on the fly for situations that obviously means life and death. So, but anywho, that is going to do it for this reaction. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed, comment what you thought of this episode 
Subscribe if you're new, and tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video so you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise for me. Also, go check out my Discord. Link is also down in the description. Come join. We will talk, post memes, songs, videos, artwork. You can self promote your own stuff and just have some fun. And I do have a Patreon in case you guys feel like showing some extra support. This has been Lance Corporal Lock 30, signing off.